So, on the subject of economics, uh, nothing is more daunting to probably the majority of people. Uh, economics is actually pretty simple. Uh, I've been reading The Wealth of Nations by Adam Smith. Now, granted, this is something written in 1776, so how reliable it is in the modern times, I would agree. Uh, you know, I think this is a, questionable, a good question, but um, a lot of the essence is the, uh, the true essence of economy is labor, simple enough. Uh, that's really what gets the gears moving, as it were. Um, in his own words, essentially, the idea of getting the labor that it requires to get the gold into the reserves is equal, essentially, to the gold itself. How difficult it is to get the gold makes the gold more valuable. And so, if we extrapolate that, if we were to create projects for public service, those those services will be will be re um, reciprocated based on how difficult it is to perform and how um, how complicated it was to establish. Now, um, let's say an education system which is, uh, uh, let's say, an entire community is uh, working together in this education system where professors, uh, farmers, um, psychologists, uh, technicians, uh, martial art teachers, you know, the, the however, however many different fields you have educating the children, uh, musicians, uh, architects, whatever, whatever it may be, um, if they are employed by the education system, because it will be a very uh, difficult to begin with, very difficult system, uh, and very complicated to establish, the people of this system will be paid as the as athletes are today and because this education system would engender a totally new culture and community and society it would um, be something that altogether transcends the history of human ingenuity and uh, will uh, in my uh, my hypothesis is that it would uh, ultimately unhinder, unleash the human potential, finally, in a good way. Um, a lot of people believe that human beings are naturally um, just evil creatures or something of that sort, and I don't believe that that's the case. I don't believe that uh, that's true at all. I think that we have been cultivated to be. Uh, animals, really, uh, sheep, uh, and and if we were to be recultivated in a new direction, we would be whatever we were cultivated to be. I don't believe in the uh, nature versus nurture debate. I believe it's both, and nurture ultimately wins out. Um, we have the great gifts of intelligence. But how we are nurtured in that way is what will determine whether or not we are a uh, civilized species. Now, <clears throat> the evolution of economics is in tandem with education. Uh, throughout history, the economic st uh, stagnancy versus ingenuity of a civilization is determined by its education. Uh, we have reached, obviously, uh, a great pit, a great uh, black hole, supermassive, really. Uh, because of our education system's failures, the economic situation has not improved. It has devolved. It has, in fact, regressed. We are in a very bad spot. So, what to do about this? 
Uh, well, uh, there are a lot of suggestions. One of them is a resource-based economy. Uh, talk to, and honestly, a uh, resource-based economy seems to be the best bet. But, unfortunately, uh, people cannot understand what this concept means. Um, the, evolu the evolution of economy has been one from barter, uh, which essentially derives all of its values. The value system is based in the items themselves, and those items are what is traded, to banking from the items which were desired to gold and silver, which are kind of a catalyst for uh, the expedient exchange of goods or services between people. Now, we live in a time of fiat money. Uh, neither gold or tangible assets um, nor a catalyst, really a kind of fraud, a um, deceit, a true uh, alchemy, virtually, of the human enterprise. The economy of today is really an anti-economy. It's based on lies and deceit. Its premise is consumption and um, production, overproduction. And the whole premise is really about waste, not about economy. Economy means conservation and thrift. And this economy is quite the opposite. So, uh, really, reverting to or reestablishing an economy would mean a transformation of our society and our culture. And this is what I'm advocating. And through education and a alteration of the economic structure, we can do this. And it is possible. All of these concepts that we have witnessed in economics and education were man-made. And because they were man-made, they can be uh, altered by man. Uh, now, clearly, this is something which will take uh, a, l a large concerted effort, and that is also what I'm advocating here, but not towards violence, but rather uh, a nonviolent uh, evolution of the human species through collective non participation in the system itself. Uh, what I'm advocating is agrarian culture, uh, culture, community education and uh, economy, honesty, simplicity. Uh, these things are what really will herald the new age. Um, and with that, I guess, uh, I guess that's it. Uh, love and gratitude to all of you. Every single